after six years, uh, we've finally reached the end of our long journey. Unfortunately, the pandemic, you know, has uh, given us all some unexpected challenges and we're about three months behind our original schedule. Uh, but here we are nonetheless. It's with humble appreciation and deep gratitude that I welcome all of you here tonight as we dedicate and bless this bell tower here at St. Malachy. In one way or, or another, this beautiful new tower and relocated bells from Holy Trinity could not be here standing beside us without support from all of you. As we begin, I'd like to start by making some introductions and follow up with some of the details about our new tower. With us tonight, we have some honored guests, and I'd like to introduce them to you and the members of our committees and recognize them for their roles in bringing this noble project to completion. Firstly, this evening is we, uh, with us is uh, Deacon John Vidmar, Honorary Counsel and Deacon from the Slovenian Catholic Center in Lamont, Illinois. Thank you. Mr. Vidmar serves the Slovenian Catholic community in Chicago land as Deacon and also as Honorary Counsel for the Republic of Slovenia. John has been a supporter of this project since its start and when I asked us if uh, when I asked him if he would join for tonight he said I wouldn't miss it. John's attendance here tonight is testimony to the community bonds across the miles between our Slovenian family in Illinois and here in Indianapolis and continues the century plus long tradition of shared faith and fraternity. I'd like to inter also introduce Mr. Bill Bickle. Bill didn't make it tonight. Anyway, Bill's I thought he was coming. Uh, he it was instrumental in the, the Bell's remover, removal uh, from Holy Trinity. He is the manager of the Holy Family Shelter that is uh, now right next door and custodian of the former Holy Trinity uh, Church building. Uh, I'm also very happy to introduce to you some of the officers from St. Aloysius Lodge. President Angie Kuson is here with us tonight. Vice President Jennifer Velikon, Direct Youth and Activities Director Jamie Brodnick McDougall, and our auditor, Betsy Phone Walker. St. Al's is celebrating its 120th year this year, and unfortunately, a few of our officers could not make it. St. Al's has a remarkable history and had an uninterrupted role as guardian angel for Holy Trinity Parish since it was established in 1906. Our grandparents and our great-grandparents were instrumental in its founding, and was, it was a benefactor organization to the parish for over 108 years. All of us at St. Malachi have a great debt to St. Al's uh, with this remarkable gift of the church bells to our parish community. Likewise, the Slovenian community is thankful to St. Malachi by providing a new home for these historic bells. Without St. Al's spearheading the efforts to find a new home for the Holy Trinity bells, the lonely dark tower at the former church would be the bells' final resting place. Relocated now to their second home, the future of the bells is secured. Once again, the Holy Trinity the St. Aloysius Bell and the St. Joseph Bell can ring out calling the faithful to prayer and to carry out their mission. This project could not have been built without the support from our local council of the Knights of Columbus. Representing them here tonight are our Grand Knight, Mr. Billy Patterson. Billy? Oh, sorry about that, Bill. So uh, the St. Malachi Council donated nearly $30,000 to this effort. Uh, Billy is a former parishioner of, of Holy Trinity, like myself, and, and a son of the parish. Billy and I graduated together and grew up listening to this three-note symphony. Many thanks also to Mike Clouser, Past Grand Knight, and all the Knights for their support. Many thanks also are extended to our vendors along the way, especially the Verdon Company uh, out of Cincinnati, Ohio, the architects and designers of our new tower, Equiteam, Brownsburg Landscape, RC Engineering, a &K Monuments, Santa Rosa Tile and Mosaic. I'd also like to extend a special thanks to the members of our St. Malachi Bell Committee, which includes our former pastor, Father Vince Lampert, also a son of Holy Trinity Parish. Father Vince was especially interested in finding a second permanent home for the Holy Trinity Bells and was instrumental in the decision to bring them here to St. Malachi. Although Father Vince could not be with us here tonight, Members of his family are here joining in this victory celebration. There's some of the Lamperts. Upon coming back to his home parish, Father Sean Danda was very much on board with this project, and under his leadership, guidance, determination, and support, our project was completed. Taking over the reins of such a large parish is a daunting task, especially when it comes at a time of significant projects that are only half completed. <laughs> Father Danda recognized the value in relocating the bells, 
not only for the prisoners of the former Holy Trinity, but also for our growing St. Malachy community. He understood the unique history of the bells and made them more than 3,400 pounds of brass and tin and was happy to see them come to St. Malachy. So thank you, Father Danda. I'd also like to publicly thank the f these following familiar faces who have worked with, uh, who have worked to will this tower into existence. They attended countless meetings, met with vendors, contributed their ideas and energy for three years. Let me introduce to you Mr. Rob Damler. Rob, yes, he's our great benefactor and I would like to call him the godfather of our project. John Kiefer, as many of you, you know John, he's, he's the man with the checkbook and with his hand on the pulse of the parish. Brent Stutzman. Brent, he's right in here in the middle. He's our professional engineer, bell enthusiast, and he was always ready to share his wisdom and expertise from past projects uh, along with this one. And also Doug Tapscott. Oh, Doug's here. Yeah, he's our facilities engineer who was always our tireless man on the ground and ready resource. Without their interest, expertise, and commitment, relocating these bells from Saint, from Holy Trinity to St. Malachy would only remain a nice idea. Uh, there's one more group that requires recognition, and that is all of you, the St. Malachy and Holy Trinity families and friends. Through your generosity, either with outright don donations or through our memorial paver campaign, nearly $76,000 was added to our fund. For those of you who have yet to make a donation or buy a memorial paver, there is still time. I've got a supply of forms, so just see me after this. The structure of this uh, tower looks pretty simple, right? Four legs, a few bolts, three bells, a little roof. Uh, let me assure you though, this view we all now enjoy and the sounds that delight us this evening are not the results of anything simple. Although they appear new and shiny, the bells are 113 years old. I'm sorry, 113 and 11 days old to be exact. Slovenian immigrant families scraped and saved as they began their new parish at the turn of the century. Cast in Cincinnati, the original cost of these bells was $1,189. If purchased new, the bells like this set from Holy Trinity would cost nearly $90,000. Part of the fundraising was accomplished door to door by school children of the neighborhood back in the day. And although there's no confirmation of this, the 50th anniversary book and traditional neighborhood belief was held that the medal for the bells was actually procured in Slovenia and brought to, United, to the United States. For 107 years, these bells rang out proudly for the parish of Holy Trinity on the near west side. At the sad closing in 2014, St. Al's immediately submitted a petition requesting ownership of several items from Trinity for, emotion, for the emotional and historical importance they held for the Slovenian community. Among these items were these three bells. Nearly a year later, a decision was made agreeing to give the bells and a few other items to St. Al's. Our lodge began the search for a new home. It didn't take long and soon discussions began with Father Vince and it seemed that the Saint, that St. Malachy might be the parish most likely to have interest and also because many of the families already here had Holy Trinity connections. The discussions began in earnest and soon the plans were underway for the bell extraction uh, in March of 2018, after the completion of engineering and approvals from the Archdiocese, the bells were removed and trucked to the Verdon Company in Cincinnati. Two years later, with county approvals received, funds raised, engineering completed, foundation installed, the restored bells with the beautiful custom tower were trucked to Brownsburg and installed here at St. Malachy, Malachy on July 27th, 2020. Before this month closes, the memorial pavers will be installed, completing the picture. I invite you all to take a look. The center medallion features the symbol of Holy Trinity, forever reminding us of the origins and history behind the bells. Soon supporters will be able to find their own memorial paver. When the hardscape is completed, there will be four extra large pavers in the four corners. These custom pavers will each have a specific design and each will be a silent witness to the collaboration and cooperation needed to make this bell tower a reality for the parish of St. Malachy. St. Malachy will be representative, uh, represented, the Knights of Columbus Council, our benefactors, family, and St. Aloysius KSKJ Lodge. I encourage you all to return for a look at our completed project at the end of the month. 
landscaping, and night lighting to follow. Not to be forgotten, the historic St. Malachy Bell will also ring out once, once again, but later in October of this year. Its location at the front of the church and renovated hanging with renovated hanging hardware will allow for its ringing for many years to come. Again, thank you all for coming tonight for this occasion, which brings, which brings to completion the work started nearly six years ago. You were encouraged to stay a while and socialize. There are already uh, prepared to-go boxes of reception treats for everyone to enjoy. So thanks very much. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God who makes us one church and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a joyous and happy day for all of us as the new bells installed in this tower at our church and we have the opportunity in this celebration to praise God's name. Bells have a special place in the life of God's people. The peal of bells marks the hours for prayer and calls us to the celebration of the liturgy. Bells alert us to important events, both happy and sad, in the life of the church and our community. Let us pray then, let us participate devoutly in the celebration so that Whenever we hear the ringing of the bells, we will remember that we are one family coming together to show our unity in Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Later, as the eleven were at table, Jesus appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Well, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. They went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Let us pray. We praise you, O Lord, Father, all holy. To a world wounded and divided by sin, you sent your only Son. He gave his life for his sheep to gather them into the one fold and to guide and feed them as their one shepherd. May your people hasten to your church when they hear the call of these bells. May they persevere in the teaching of the apostles in steadfast fellowship, in unceasing prayer, and in the breaking of the bread. May they remain one in mind and heart to the glory of your name. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now the traditional Slovenian invocation over the bells. At the end of mass, the deacon or the celebrant asks the people to bow their heads and prepare for God's blessing. In Slovenian, we follow the old Slavonic liturgy and we use the words pripravimo srcije za Božje blagoslo, which translates as let us prepare our hearts for God's blessing. Paul hit on a theme which is common in blessing of bells in Slovenia, which is they call us to prayer. So I'll do the invocation first in Slovenian and then repeat it in English so everybody will understand what I said. Tizvanove. So zvanil za mnogo generacijah naših prednikov pri sveti trojici u Hovel. Klical so ljudi na molitev. Spominjali jih je na vero, ki so prinesli s seboj, 
ali starši ali star starši iz starega kraja. Spominjal jih je na detiščino vire, ki so dobili svojih staršov. Te zvenove so spominjali ljudi, da imajo tudi dožnost tisto vero naprej dodati na naslednjo generacijo. Naj ti zvenove, ki so zdaj kle, zvonijo še za mnogo, mnogo generacijih ljudi pri te skupno svete Malakije, kle v Brandsburgu. These bells rang for generations of our predecessors at Holy Trinity in Hoville. They called people to prayer. When they rang, they reminded people of the faith that they, their parents or their grandparents brought from the old country. When those bells rang, it reminded me of the great gift of faith that they received from their parents. When these bells rang, it reminded them of the responsibility they had to pass that faith on to another generation. These bells, which now hang here in Brownsburg, may they ring and continually ring for many generations of the community of St. Malachi. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Thanks for coming. Enjoy some refreshments in company with one another.